Let's just knock this down. Can I just? Okay. <laughs> well, that's an indication that I can't do anything it on that wall. It has to stop sometime, yeah, right? Yeah, at some, at some point, you can't just completely terraform the entire level. <laughs> Hello, my friends, and welcome back to PlayStation Underground. On today's episode, we are playing Fortnite, which is out now on PS4, available now. I am joined by Sid. Sid, hello, sir. You're Hi. in studio with me. I noticed uh, that rock was sort of throbbing or pulsing a little bit earlier, and yeah, there's a name on it. Something's going on behind that rock. Someone <laughs> is my, oh my gosh, it's our good friend, Zach. <laughs> Zach is joining us uh, remotely, and we are uh, we are just let's like, get right into it. I have not played this mission before. Zach has, but uh, to give you a quick summary of Fortnite, Fortnite is the latest game from the team at Epic. It combines a lot of different genres together. It combines base building, third person action, crafting, loot mechanics. There's a ton of stuff going on. As you can see, we are gleefully uh, just harvesting some resources here. You can see my resources on the left side of the screen. I have quite a bit of stone, Sid. Good to know. Um, we're kind of in one of the story-based campaign missions where we are trying to locate. By the way, Zach, if you know where Lars is, you can go to Lars. Um, but I'm just going to kind of wander around and hope for the best. Uh, so we are trying to find a scientist that is going to help us um, fight against the storm. And the storm is the uh, ever omnipresent uh, terrible entity and antagonist that has since uh, essentially devastated the human population. It's, it's summoned monsters up in its yeah. wake. It's a little bit like, did you ever read The Mist by Stephen King? You know what? I didn't, but I did watch the film. It's a, it's a little bit like that. It's kind of got that vibe, doesn't it? Oh, I see a van over here, so I'm going to guess this is Lara's over here. Oh, by the way, there's also... Um, there's classes in this game. I am playing, I think we're both playing soldiers, or maybe Zach is an outlander. Um, Zach, jump if you're an outlander, or stay still if you're a soldier. Okay, yeah, this is what I thought. That's the magic of technology right here. Uh, let's see what Lars has to say. So this is... Lars just got, he's got, he's like ready to go. He's got a bike, he's got a guitar. Our little, uh, our little helpful robot sidekick is uh, is chatting with us. Install flying device. Heck yeah. Where do I do that? Oh, on the van. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. Nice. Uh, Ray, it's a balloon. It's a weather balloon. Will it keep the van in the air? We'll find out. Good enough for me. I love this artwork painted on the side. <laughs> oh, we got to get some blue go. Blue glow, excuse me. Zach, let's go find blue glow. Unless you found some. Oh, you found one already. Good. Uh, let's see. What is blue glow in the universe of Fortnite? You know, Sid, I wish I could tell you that. But it is a resource that has been used to power uh, machines that fight the storm. Oh, or, I, see. Oh, I see some up there. I don't know if we'll be able to get up to that, though. Um, I might be able to... Oh, wait. Are there are there monsters up there? Is that a zombo? It might be. They're oh. sleeping. <gasps> oh, oh, no! <laughs> the action begins. <laughs> okay. Oh, and I don't have any ammo whatsoever. I have to craft ammo. I have to craft ammo. <laughs> Not enough resources to craft ammo. What? What? I had plenty of resources before. Yeah, we're going to be using our swords now. <laughs> Okay, well that went super well. Let me let me get some. Can I get anything from here? Can I search any of any of these items? What looks good here, Sid? Can I search this bucket? Nope. Ooh. <laughs> yes, please. Give me some stuff. Nuts, Nuts and, and bolts. bolts. What were you just saying recently that was the... Oh, yeah, you went on a, a, a kick about uh, a certain game that requires crafting, and you had some hot tips on the PlayStation broadcast about it. Yeah, what game was that? I, I won't say. I don't, no need to make comparisons okay, here got on it. the show. I'm hoping that with, with some of these materials, I will be able to craft ammo. There is something uh, 
insanely satisfying. Yeah. Oh my god, that's gonna explode. <laughs> <laughs> you blew off all your armor. Zach, so what? Zach was smart. Zach just built a staircase up here. Oh, that's a good example of like uh, what this game can do. Yeah, exactly. And actually, that's one of the things that you know we're gonna be seeing that in a little bit in this mission. But um, one of the things this game does really well is sort of the build interface uh, is really smart. Uh, so, for example, uh, it's really just like on the fly. You can just construct defenses and different uh, like floors that you can lay traps on. Stairwells, as Zap just showed. Uh, Zap. <laughs> Zap just showed. Zap. Zap is now his new nickname. Indeed. Um, and. Uh, I, I, I'm almost I'm almost afraid to show everyone at home like the amount Whoa. the amount of stuff that's in this game, um, but like all the various ammo types. Which, by the way, yeah, can I you should make that? have. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to. Oh no, I should have made these bullets. Let's make some of this action. There we go. There we go. Give me that sweet sweet ammo. All right, so. Ray is telling us that we can uh, start to build some defenses. Zach, I, I name you lead architect uh, on today's uh, defense building. So I want you to uh, create. So look at this. Zach is putting down walls right now around the uh, the point of interest here, this van. Now, there's wall traps. Would you maybe want to boost his defenses with a wall trap? I think I will. Now, here's the problem. Look at on the mini-map here. Do you see how there's highlights in pretty much all directions? Yeah. As far as I'm aware, that means that we're going to be getting uh, attacked from all directions. Yep. So that is definitely uh, a concern that using I have. My, using my keen insights, it would appear that the northeastern side might not be quite as uh, robust in its offense. If I... Use if those. you if you had to, if yeah. you just went if you used your intuition that's right uh, but Sid watch this I'm actually gonna edit this wall oops sorry I did it wrong yeah <laughs> and I oh. can actually change um, here we go confirm oh so that's now, interesting now just right on the fly look I'm putting down these low barrier things and these are great because this actually gives us some some room to kind of set up our defenses yeah. to to fire at incoming monsters. Um, but they can't quite get by it in the same capacity. So interesting. Um, it's it's very nice. Zach is like a building machine. <laughs> Knows what he's doing. He's building a cabin he's, around he's this also thing. <laughs> he's, he's done this mission before, so I'm kind of like uh, trusting him with knowledge uh, of the. All right, let's see what he's what he's doing now. So I do have some traps. Let me. Uh, let's see here. So. Zach, I might do what? Uh, what traps do I have? On floor, I have five retractable floor spikes. I'll just show you real quick what those look like. Um, I'll put them here, I guess. Anyway, check these out. Look at this. This is—it's as easy as one, two, three, laying traps. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Zach is also creating ceilings for us to keep us out of the sun because I am very delicate. What do the ceilings do, for real? Well, you can set traps on them. Uh, you can also, of course, I could create, I could make, you know, here, I'll actually just show you. I could potentially make a staircase and up you could, there. Yeah, you could And be we up could top. have, you know, a height advantage. That's interesting. Um, so, in fact, I wonder if what I'll do is um, maybe Ooh. put a little staircase here. Zach, forgive me for kind of improvising on your beautiful base, but this way now we have some uh, some height advantage here in the battle. To See, come. I would get so carried away with this right oh, away. I know, and this is literally just one like little tiny mission yeah. in the game, right? So I would build like the biggest, tallest tower you've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, you can do that in your home home base. This is literally just a little tiny mission fun. Oh yeah, so the, there's like a persistent base that you have as well back at uh, right. Yes, yeah. correct, uh, as far as I'm aware. Now, I should also point out uh, that, you know, at the time of this recording, you know, this game is very much still something that Epic updates all the time. You could see differences when you play, uh, you know, in the full version. But, Zach, just jump a couple times in front of me when you feel confident and ready to start the, uh, okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we'll go down here, and we will activate the van. How, how do I activate the van? <laughs> Here it is. Defend the van. Defend the van. Here we go. I, I have to get up. I have to get up. All right. So as you can already see, monsters are already approaching. And we are going to start the defensive wave uh, of the 
mission. Now, Sid, here's an interesting thing about these classes. I'm playing the soldier class, yeah. and, you know, like a lot of class-based games, right, you mm -hmm. have a ton of different perks. They have special abilities. Oh, there's monsters inside. The call is coming from inside the house. <laughs> And for example, I believe, and I don't know which perk, what it's called, but this character, this hero, has a perk that kind of if you get a headshot or a critical shot, it kind of lowers the defenses of the enemy. And uh, you'll see that kind of little, that little bro I'm trying, I'm trying to get a little, yeah, the broken shield icon that pops up above their head kind of indicates that they're more susceptible to damage. So again, that's where some kind of the multiplayer element comes into play here. Uh, you know, some classes will be really good at dealing damage. The soldiers, for example. Uh, other classes, the constructor, are going to be great at building bases and maintaining those bases from assaults. The outlander, which is, I believe, what Zack is, as we discussed before, is really good at traversing the environment and also uh, gathering loot and kind of just being more about the environment, right? Interesting. Um, I think I covered most of the folks. Oh, and then there's ninjas. How could I possibly forget a ninja? Then you got your ninjas. Then you got your ninjas, and ninjas are, of course, melee combat, traversal, um, a lot of cool stuff there. So How many classes are there? There's four like kind of categories of I class, get it. Okay. but then there's a ton of different heroes that belong to those four classes. And, and are, they, are the heroes just visually different, or do they have little... They are visually different, and I'm not sure about perks and bonuses. Okay. Those might also differ, but um, more, more to come in that. That's not to be confirmed. This did just come out, let's be yes. fair. And the, this is also only my third time playing the game, so <laughs> let's give Ryan a little break here. You seem, you seem to be uh, holding up just fine, though. It's because we got Zach's beautiful base to guide us. Mm -hmm. I'm going to kind of take a risk and go out into the darkness. Careful. Careful. And it looks like we have more. Uh, oh, you know what? And I need to. The nice thing is, look, you can uh, craft on the fly. But unfortunately, I still don't have the resources I need. So I might get into a very tricky situation. Time to bust out that sword. Yep. Or my pickaxe. There we go. 30 uh -oh. seconds to go. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> Sword comes in handy. I had an idea for a game like this a long time ago. Did I ever tell you about that? No, Sid. I'm sure all the team at Epic would, lo <laughs> would love to hear it. Well, I had the idea of like, yeah, like being able to build stuff uh, to fend off waves of uh, vicious zombies. I mean, it's it's such a great combo it of is. like you get that feel of tower defense, you get that wave yeah. based, you know. And I can only imagine that there's like turrets and stuff that you can play. So there's probably all kinds of there's cool gizmos. There's tons of traps, tons of gizmos, tons of weapons. I mean, there's like a lot going on. Um, I think we have to defend it one more time. What uh, parts do you need to make more bullets? Uh, let's find out. Let's. I mean, I, I don't even know. It looks like I need something over there. Maybe those nuts and bolts. So we can go exploring. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find any nuts and bolts in a forest, though. Although we already did. <laughs> Here, can I break this down? No. Then it's not. Then it's of no use to me whatsoever. I see some blue glow up here. I thought I got a. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let me build that there stairwell up. Mm-hmm. Now you're mm -hmm. using your noodle. Now I am. Let's. Uh, Maybe. Uh... Nope. Can't can't reach there. Have you ever fooled around in like the Unreal editor or any uh, level editors like mm -hmm. that? Th it's funny because. Um, Would I love it? You would you would love it, but it, it reminds me like the UI. I mean, it's much more sort of user friendly here. I think for a gaming environment, but s some of very broadly speaking, some of the concepts around flipping between different, you know, parts like that is is vaguely similar to it. I mean, it makes sense. This is epic that we're talking about. That's right. I do. I did gather rough mineral powder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna. Let's see if I can build that staircase now. Nope, not yet. Oh, this thing, this thing's in the way. Tree, I'm sorry. Normally, I would not condone going down and <laughs> randomly cutting huge Ryan, old trees. Ryan, that tree that was probably lived in this 300, 300, 300 years old. 300-year-old tree. The last of its species. <laughs> see, look, I gained elevation. But I just don't see any blue glow around here. Do you? <laughs> nope. Is it way up there? Oh my gosh. I don't know how I'm possibly going to reach that. I'm just going to assume that Zach will find Blue Glow. You need uh, more mineral powder. Lots what and I lots of it. What I need is some nuts and bolts. Yeah. Let's just knock this down. Can I just... 
Okay. <laughs> Well, that's an indication that I can't do anything it on that wall. It has to stop sometime, yeah, right? Has, at, some, at some point, you can't just completely terraform the entire <laughs> level. I'm going to go check in on Zach. He's way over here. Way over here. What did Zach find over here? Oh, hi! Can't believe it. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You had a bunch of nuts and bolts. Look at that. I can craft ammo again. Zach had it all figured out. Nope. There we go. Well, at least I crafted some ammo. This is the cool. This is what I'm talking about. Like, this is what makes it so cool. You could just find these little things down here, like random strangers that give you presents. I wish you could do this in real life. It's just take a pickaxe <laughs> to everything. Everything around you. Now we know Epic's been working on uh, Fortnite here for quite a while, and this mm -hmm. is, uh, it, it's evolved quite a bit since we first saw it some, some time ago. But uh, yeah, this is uh, very interesting. I'm, uh, and, and how do we get this? This is uh, early access. You're playing in early access right, right now. At the time of this recording, we're playing in early access. But by the time that you at home are watching this, you Wait can essentially just go to PlayStation Store and, and buy Fortnite. You could buy now. And, and uh, you know, I think Epic has made plans to make this a kind of free-to-play hmm. game in the future. But for now, if you want to just get in and start playing, you can do that. Hmm. Uh, just go to PlayStation Store. Actually, it also might be available at fine retailers. Hmm. Zach's got something going on over here still. Let's go over here and keep running, keep hustling. I can't like, can't find him. <laughs> this is it. This is gonna be the episode, folks. Just running through the forest. Yep, it's a scenic tour of. I mean, to be fair, I, I really love the art style yeah, of Fortnite. It's, great. it's super colorful, has tons of character. Uh, the actual heroes look fantastic. Love the animation, and I mean, as as Sid and I have discussed, this is fun. This I could do all day. I could do this Just all day. Just bash any, pretty almost any object and get a ton of resources for it. Yes, please. Um, I'm just gonna go back to the main. There he area. is. Yeah. Gonna go back to the main area that our uh, our friend Lars is in. Never did find that blue. Glow. Look at this. Look at what Zach did. Wow. <laughs> he's he's doing he's doing hard work. He's staying busy. I keep running out of stamina. Oh. Yeah, but Sid, the, the crazy thing about this game is that there's schematics that you can collect, which you can then craft weapons of varying rarities. And then there's you have to manage your ammo. You have to manage your traps. There's a ton of resources. Survivors that you find can augment your stats. I mean, there is so much stuff in this game. It's actually, like, really incredible. And this is um, very early game, too. Yeah, here. exactly. Zach essentially has done all, all the, the work. work. Should All we do work. another wave? I think that's I think that's what we're gonna do. Zach, I want you to take the honors of activating them. Actually, Zach's like trying to build more defenses. <laughs> that's fine. Zach, I'm gonna activate the van. This is just gonna try and test you on how well your uh, how well you can act under pressure. <laughs> <laughs> I will hold off. And actually, it's during the day. I wonder if that like is going to be to our, I mean, benefit besides visibility. Sid, you know what you got to do? What's Pro up? tip. Got to feather that trigger. Yeah. <laughs> Double tap. What the? What is this action? Yeah, what's what with is the what's, making what's, here? What, what's with the llama theme, too? Like, I mean, I, I, I wish I could tell you. It's super cool. I just, I, it, I wonder who came up with that. I mean, I'm going to assume epic. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> he didn't last very long. I like so this is the first mission I've played, and I'm very early in the game. That uh, basically it's coming at all. They're coming at you from all sides. Oh look at that! Look at that on the fly construction Zach just did, protecting me from immediate danger. Hey, hey, get out of here, zombie or monster <laughs> or husk. Are they called husks? Yes, some of them are. That's one like class of enemy. It's the husks. 
They're actually really creepy. It kind of looks like they're wearing someone's skin. Oh. Like, uh, so, you know, not for the faint of heart. I'm just going full Outlander style gameplay here. See how there's like a face hanging behind oh. this guy? Yep. Interesting. Yep. Yep. We got to do this for two minutes. Can we make it out of ammo again? Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to apologize for my lack of ammo. That was not part of the plan for today's recording. But luckily, I do have a sword and a pickaxe that I can use in the meantime. Hut, 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 hut. Dex has that one under control. And I have that one under control. Just staying light on my tippy toes. Hut, hut, hut. Got that. Oh, look at these traps. The traps are coming in handy. They are coming in handy. That is part of the game. This guy thinks that he is in the clear. He is not. <laughs> Good, sir. You are not in the clear. You have been defeated. Look at these. Look at this. This is... I could just do this all day. Sid, I'm afraid uh, I am no longer available to work for the rest of the day. <laughs> I will be playing Fortnite. Uh, you got a good reason. Yeah. Good excuse. Nope. 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 You guys really... Uh, Look, you guys have this place locked down. We can also repair. You can repair on the fly. See if I click in the right stick. I'll, I'll take care of this guy. See, click in that right stick and boom. Repair is done. And of course that uses resources, but... I'm probably also doing damage to the wall by you may slashing be. a sword at it. You may but be. you know what? I'm just trying my best, folks. It's all, it's all good. I'm just trying my best. <laughs> Isn't that all we get? How is Zach getting all this stuff? What is this thing? <laughs> this thing is on our team, right? Yeah, it's not shooting at me, so I'm going to assume it is. Zach, how did you get that available to you? I need you to... Uh, jump in Morse code and uh, tell me the long <laughs> detailed story about how you uh, unlocked that. Every component needed to build it, yeah. <laughs> where you found the blueprints. Uh, yep, exactly. Hut, 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 so hut, you can hut. imagine where this game goes, uh, where Fortnite goes kind of later in the game, mm -hmm. uh, when you have hordes and hordes and hordes of enemies, Just much tougher. giant, I yeah. know. Uh, yeah, and I mean the structures that you can make, like multi-tiered structures with giant hallways laden with traps. I mean, the, the opportunities, Sid, are endless. It's true, and I mean, this is a fairly crude, uh, all, all, all due respect to Zach's hard work, it's a fairly crude structure. I have seen... <laughs> it's fairly crude structure. I've there seen some, some, late, some late game stuff or later game stuff that is... Uh, Sid, I have found the solution to Bay Area traffic, sir. <laughs> there it is. Away it goes. Bon voyage, Lars. Nicely done. Victory! And Oh, there we go. I mean, he has to have his last song. <laughs> uh, Zach, thank you for uh, for joining us there. And Sid, thank you for joining us for Underground today. Thank you for the tour. Looking uh, good. Fortnite out now course. on PS4. And ladies and gentlemen, that was PlayStation Underground, of course. Uh, you can go grab Fortnite, or you can just, uh, you know, come watch more Underground episodes. Stay tuned for the next PlayStation Underground. We will see you next time. PlayStation.